I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. Yo, what's going on? I'm Rob Geringer. I'm here in Connecticut doing a championship tour, and this is how I head right. I don't contemplate, I meditate, then off your, off your head. This that puts the most part, I use head rush in stump mode, which I love. It literally places all the pedals out in front of me, as you can see. Didn't mean to hit that, but so I have all my pedals listed in front of me, and I have a few different options in which I can see them or how they can run within the chain, which is very cool. And it's you know, it's way better than having to do it by hand. So you guys definitely went one up with that. And I'm pretty much, you know, it's standard stuff. I'm running first, I'm running into the orange phaser. I love it, it's pretty authentic. Has an old retro feel to it, which I love. Pretty cool stuff going on with that. Then I have this, well in the chain, I'm running to the multi-chorus next, but I'm actually using it how it's listed here. So in the chain, it's the multi-chorus, but actually for me performing is the vibrato, which is even crazier. I'm doing a lot of like synthy sounds with it. So it's like, it's on a whole nother atmospheric type of sound. <laughs> That's pretty cool, it's sweet. And then of course the chorus, as I mentioned earlier. And I love that, it really feels like a, my favorite chorus was by um, MXR and it was, this mimics it way better, like, it's very full. You hear all the voicings within it. And then next in the chain, I have the Black OP, which is a distortion. My distortions, I like them pretty much to the cut. I don't even really have a crunch. With me, it's like, if, if I use a crunch, I'm just pulling a, the volume down on my guitar. But me, I like my distortions full in. So this is like a, like a Marshall type vibe. <laughs> straight to the cut. I love it. And the next one, same way, real punchy, straight to the cut. This one is more like, more so foot and ass. <laughs> love the bite, screaming. And then my delay. Now, the way that the delay and the tap tempo works in this pedal, is literally sent from God. Like, is for one, is so accurate, and then two, the delay itself is so clean. Like, normally with delays, my problem is the trill is kind of nasty. It's not as accurate as how it was when I originally played it. But you know what? I'll just show you. How about that? So I'm gonna tap a tempo here. Look at that. Literally, three clicks in. It's already got me. So clean. Like this, this delay is on a whole nother level. I don't even want, I don't want to show you all too much. You got to go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. But the reverb, Again, amazing. And mine is pretty simple. I don't like it. We're doing arena, so I don't really need too much, you know, too much reverb pulls and bites away from it. But I actually like this one because of the, the decay control and the tone control. Sometimes, depending on the guitar, some of my guitars, they like bite more than others. So I might have to, like you see this one, I have it toned all the way down because this guitar is pretty biting. But then, you know, and also I love the mix button. That is, the key to success right there. 
because all the pedals have the mix button for the most part. And like, this helps me balance it within the chain. Sometimes the, my main problem with delays or pedals in general is that front of house might be like, yo, this pedal feels different from this pedal. This pedal feels different from that. Or when you kick this in, this feels different. So now with the mix control, I can literally send him like, yo, you need more, you need less of, but like of every individual pedal. And that's never, I've never had that option before with any pedal. Cause I've always ran straight analog. So, you know, it's all in the chain. It's like, whatever he gets is what he gets. You know what I'm saying? So now with this mix control, it's like taking over the whole game right now. But let me play this, um, just reverb. Like it's like, it's real. I love the decay and the hall of it. Like it's like, it feels like I'm in a church or something like real big. yeah so that's pretty much my pedal layout and then as far as how I use them so now hair rush comes with four different great modes that I love so you have stump mode which is how we're, we're viewing that currently then you have rig mode which will literally only show you the names of the rig you can't touch the actual I can just go into it for you see now it's just showing like the names of my set like the actual names of the patches. Like when I hit them, I can't really dig into them unless I, you know, press on the screen. But I don't really use that one that much, but the next one over from it, hybrid. This changed the entire game, performing, gigging, no matter what you're doing. This is literally the best shit in the world. So what this does is you still have your few patches. You only can have four patches this time with the names up there, but when you hit them, now you actually get slight, you know, not much, but you get four pedals within the chain that you can operate and maneuver around with on stage. You can punch them in and out, which actually I love because for some artists, you know, you don't really change that much, but when, you, when you're in the sound, say, you know, you might want to keep that sound and you might want to solo or you need a solo somewhere. You kick in your distortion right there, but I'm still in the patch. Like for instance, this patch, this patch is called Broken Clocks. It's pretty much like a, it's like a synthy organ type patch for guitar. And I use it with Y. But some nights I might need to kick in a distortion here. But that's all literally within the same patch. It's just a punch like a within the press of a foot pedal away. And I love that mode. That mode is very convenient. It helps me switch around the shit so easy, as you can see. And I still have, and what I really love about it is that you can actually pick what pedals that you want to be down there within the chain. So it's not like they just randomly show up here. You know what I mean? You have your hardware assignment. So now I can literally change this. If you look here, I got the black OP right there right now. As you can see, it's on. Or I'll do even the dynamic delay. I can change that and put the air vibrato right there. Literally, just drag it, anything. I can put whatever I want right there, and it's there. And of course, I could save it if I want it, whatever. It's very convenient. Like the pedal is definitely your best friend on stage. I'll say that. It's, I mean, in the studio everywhere, it acts as an interface. And it's so clean. My thing, that's my main thing, like the quality and the the character of the sound that's coming out of it. You know, sometimes with this type of, with something that has so much inside of it, they don't really, 
put all the detail into the quality and the, you know how it sounds coming out of speakers besides amps or you know how does it sound coming out of monitors or front of house but literally you guys took the time to make sure i can dig into every little aspect from literally i can even assign my own i can like i have global settings for alternate outputs between the xlr and my regular outputs going straight to the amp like all that stuff is here. I can I can change it if I want. Literally. Now I'm going I can go from cabs, from amps, from microphones, or I can go straight from the rig, from the board. Like it's dope. Like you guys definitely did your thing with this. And um I'm so happy that I even got in tune with you all and I'm even happier to see what's coming next. This is how I hear it, bro. Nothing's in my DNA. I got millions, I got 